But as I was saying, uh, like, that's a quick catch-22 with the disc thing. Like, if we don't buy it because, like, hey, Activision, we don't like that dare uh, shtick you have, and then they're like, oh, I guess people just don't like Spyro, and it's like, I don't want that! Kazrod says, that's ridiculous, though it reminds me of those Mega Man Mega Man X Legacy Physical Editions that came out over the summer. You get one game physical, and the rest are download codes in the box. I'm trying to remember, because there was a thing about that. There was a thing about that. I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate. I think it was... Um... It's been so long, I forget. There was a thing about that, though. I think it was for the Nintendo Switch version or something. If you got one, it, like, here's, like, half of it, and then the other ones, it's weird. Which is extra bad, because those are stinking 8-bit games. 8-bit, 16-bit games. Well, except for the Mega Man X games, because those are widely, widely... It's like, hey, here's 16-bit, and then full-on 3D, so I don't even know. But yeah, that's the main thing. Like, I don't... One reason why I buy this, because I love Spyro. I love Spyro. Even the Elijah Wood trilogy. I love that! I love it so good. Get out of here. It looks so good. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Get out of here. I just love the size and scale that they've added. There are books! There are books! I don't know why, but I love that! I love this. I love this so much. This is like really bringing me back. And the hilarious thing is, I never even played Spyro as a kid. Like, Spyro is this weird nostalgic thing for me because I remember seeing ads for the first Legend of Spyro game when I was a kid on Saturday mornings. Which, the, back then, I was like, oh hey, what's this purple dragon thingy and apparently he's fighting his evil mother. Yeah, that shows you how much I knew about Spyro back then. I thought Cinder was his evil mother. Nope, that would have been a weird story. Yeah, that was my only real childhood experience of Spyro, uh, an ad on Saturday mornings. And I just love the aesthetic of it. And then eventually I... Well, we'll continue after this guy. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. You can roll! Action roll! But Hi, Spyro. let's see if I can. You can, you can look around. It looks so good. But bop, bop, bop. but yeah, it wasn't until years later where I actually emulated the first Spyro game. Like basically, I emulated the Spyro games, loved them so much, went to Amazon and bought like all the Spyro games. <laughs> well, all the Spyro, but bought the PlayStation One Spyro games just because I loved them that much. It's like, I will buy a PlayStation 1 and enjoy this. <laughs> I remember some of the, those old Spyro commercials and magazine ads, always with roasting sheep and stuff. Cinder as his mother. That would be a very weird and very fun twist indeed. Says Kazarat. But yeah, Spyro has just always been this thing that I've always loved, even if I never got to experience him at his prime. It's just, like, so good. Hey there, Albon. Oh, it's you. The character! Sure escape those just annoying th little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. I just love just the small details and stuff for this. It's just so nice. I just love the look. Please! I would... Oh, you know what? You know what I want now? 
You know what I want now? <laughs> okay, yeah, they're fireproof. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me. They're fireproof. Not as much as they think. <laughs> it looks so good. Whoever... I just have to say it once again. The people behind this game, Toys for Bob, all the designers, the animators, the modelers, the people who are tasked with like, hey, here's a pit in this level. Let's make bookshelves around and make this like a miniature book thing. Yes! Yes! That is good! That is fantastic! That is wonderful! I just love it so much. This is everything that I've ever wanted from a Spyro remake. I love, I love, I love. But as I was saying, this really kind of makes me wonder, and what would happen if they, like, remade the Legend of Spyro games? Like, if they redid the combat, redid the aesthetic, like... Just did it up like this, made it look super good. Maybe tweak the story, get Elijah Wood back. That would be amazing. Like this I would like it. Just really stopped, overhaul the combat. But a quick flame. That should defeat them. I just love it. The dragons all have such personality. And it's all just from their redesigns and their animations. I love it. But yeah. If they... if. if I would totally be down for a Legend of Spyro remake. Totally would. Just, I don't know, shift around the aesthetic and uh, look a little bit. Maybe uh, mess around with that there, uh, that there, uh, that combat system. But this just looks so good. I love this. I love everything about this. Like, that's gonna be most of what I say for this entire thing, just because this is just so good. This is just so good. Just all the small little details, just... This inspires me on more than what... Like, this does more for me than just, like, oh, this is everything I wanted. This actually inspires me on an artistic level. Like, I'm going to be looking at these designs and these animations and these characters and be like, I want to emulate this. I want to I wanna be inspired from this. I want to incorporate aspects of this into my style. Totally, totally, I'm going to kick my own ass if I don't go and draw tonight. Like, after this stream, after this recording session, if I don't go and frickin' draw some Spiral the frickin' Dragon, I'm gonna kick my own ass. Because this is so good! It's so good! Everything about this! <laughs> you can make him spin! It's so nice! I don't know why the small things tickle me, but they do. Just because of the childlike glee! That's all it has to do. Just inspire childlike glee and fun. Kazrod says, I wouldn't wish for a story tweak there on the Legend of Spyro, my man. For those Skylander comics, they retcon them beating Malfor with a bubblegum bomb. Yeah, but here's the thing. That was the Skylanders comic, so not only is it Skylanders, it's also people who weren't, probably weren't directly involved with the games themselves. And plus, that's Welcome Skylanders to Spyro. Spyro. <laughs> Completely different. To Just love the redesigns! The Use the right stick to get a good look. So while, like, oh, story tweaks, but here's the thing. That's like saying, in, like, after Skylanders, like, I don't want them to make Spyro 1, 2, and 3 from the PlayStation 1 because they might change things because Skylanders... Sometimes, because at the very least, when it comes to... Because, like, there's no way they'd be able to get away with remaking Legend of Spyro the Dragon like that. It's meant to be the darker, kind of gritty reboot in a way. 
like an alternate universe spars. I'd look so Thanks, good. Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? This is animated Saturday morning cartoon. Hell, this is a full on animated movie worthy animation look to me. I swear. But as I was saying, uh, like they're like from the if they did try to kidify the Legend of Spiral the Dragon like that, I'm pretty sure that most people would be like, eh, this is bad, don't do it, and it would get I'm not sure if it would get super Ow. My first hit. Ow. I'm not sure if they would get as much backlash as Diablo Immortal. Far from it. But the people most people would be like, ah, eh, this doesn't eh. The only reason why it doesn't bother me that they did that with Skylanders is because it's Skylanders. I kind of expect it to be stupid. <laughs> Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to the personality. Now and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. I love it. <laughs> and true, Kazarad. Well, you can't trust modern devs too much, because, like, Diablo Immortal, which, oddly enough, I was talking about. No! Hmm. I wonder if this is like the uh, Crash Bandicoot remake, where they were, like, judging the jumps and stuff. Leaf on the wind. Ah. Get back here, you egg thief! What? Oh. What? Oh. That's a weird path for him to take, but okay. But I don't think that we should judge all devs too harshly, because honestly, Diablo Immortal isn't even that bad. And before people start crucifying me, that's because Diablo 4 is coming, but it was a horrendous announcement. And honestly, after playing Diablo 3, Diablo has kind of been... Uh, like, casualified for a while now. Like, Diablo 3 compared to Diablo 2? Very different. Very different. It's really dumbed down compared to the original Diablo 2, which is the only Diablo game that I have actually played. And honestly, is the only one that I really see, like, footage of and stuff, so I think it's basically what people think of when they say Diablo. Diablo 3 is much more simplified and casual because you don't get to assign stats, you don't get to assign ability points, you don't get to choose your play style until after you un- I love this! It makes sense-ish! I love it! I love the look! But like, you can't like, choose which abilities you want to utilize in, like, Tell I have no fear of death in Diablo. <laughs> what is this? I love this redesign. Check your progress by accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. <laughs> so good. Because it says, I would say it's pretty bad since they're not even making it. It's already made Chinese knockoff. They're just re uh, replacing the art assets for it. That's still up in the air. Like, yeah, it's It's most definitely using the same engine as those other uh, Chinese ripoff games. It's most more than likely there is some asset reusing, but there's no way of really telling if it's one to one just yet. I wouldn't doubt it, but hey, some benefit of the doubt must be given. And honestly, I think it's worse that Blizzard announced after the Diablo Immortal backlash. Like, don't worry guys, we're having our top tier developers make a bunch of mobile games now. Because that's what everyone wanted to hear. I just love it, I love it, I love it. Yep. I think that's all the w levels for this world, so let's free you! Open sesame, my doll, my boy Argus! A watermelon! Cool flash! 
Do that again. It's so cute. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. I love the voices. I love the character. Hmm. I'm missing two gems. I must find the gems. I will not be cheated on my gems, for I am Deckard Cain. But overall, nah, eh, swings and roundabouts. Swings and roundabouts when it comes to, like, Diablo and stuff. I think that the main reason is people, like... I honestly wouldn't have been surprised if there was more backlash for Diablo 3, but it got covered up as like, ah, the auction house is so terrible, ah, why is nothing working, we can't even play the game. Like, I love the collision physics. I'm missing two gems. Where are they? But overall, with something like this and the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, I'd honestly be willing to give, like, some more remakes and stuff a chance. I'd be totally down for it. Because honestly, it's all a big up in the air most of the time. You never know if a game's gonna be good or a game's gonna be bad. Because people were super hyped for, like, Mighty Number no. 9, but then that came out to be bad. People were hyped for... Shovel Knight, and that came out good. I know, right? It's so good looking. This game just looks so good. It look the animation is top tier. Well, the dog ah! got body slammed by a dog. Don't look mere as wolfish as the original, but hey. These are meant to be shepherds, so having these guys, I uh, don't mind them. And besides, uh, still kind of creepy. No, no, no! Take this, no! Well, I was never good at fighting these guys. They've always kicked my scaly ass. But it looks so good, the animation, and oh, I love it! Ow! You... Ow! That guy homed me! Homed me so hard. I deserve that. Get out of here, doggo. He does a jig. He does a jig. He does a jig. Ah! Oh, dear Lord. The dogs have always been my bane. Have all... Oh, always been my bane. 